Hey guys, it is Mr. Ashley. It's, it, I'm back, man. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, when I was posting videos last summer, I had a lot of students, former students of mine, uh, hitting up the channel saying, Mr. Ashley, you should do some video game content. Well, here I am doing a video game. This one is Rapala Pro Series, and it's probably not the video game that you guys wanted me to do. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're you have no idea who I am. I, I have this channel is Mr. Ashley versus I'm an elementary school teacher and I do just random challenges and that basically turned into a fishing channel. And so now I actually have a second YouTube channel called Last Cast, which is with myself and a couple of uh, uh, tournament fishermen that we actually do bass fishing videos together and it's, it's actually a pretty cool channel you guys should go check it out subscribe we are doing some giveaways right now actually for uh fishing gear so if you are into this game it's a fishing game or if you're into bass fishing in general or if you're trying to get into bass fishing go check out our channel you could win some free lures your chances of winning those free lures is actually really high right now because we're we're just started and uh, we're trying to get 100 subscribers and when we get hit 100 subscribers, we're going to pick one person out of those subscribers to win some free lures. Actually, two people, uh, to be 100% honest. So your your odds are one in 50 to win like about 20 to 30 dollars worth of fishing lures. So go check it out. The link is actually in the description down below. So in this video, I'm actually showing the game Rapala uh, Pro Series, and moreover, how to find legendary fish. There is a uh, well, actually, there's three achievements in the video game to find and catch legendary fish. And this one, I am at Lake Minnetonka, and I'm catching the legendary walleye. Uh, I believe they named him Carl in this game. And so right now, I'm just showing you where on the map uh, he spawns in. And uh, if you don't know already, you can actually set waypoints by clicking in on your right uh joystick um, I don't have a waypoint set up but I did search the internet and I found uh, this location so I thought I might as well make a video to show everybody else when you find the right location make sure you've got the lure that's gonna target that species well so right now I'm selecting that I think it's the shad dancer um, and then you're gonna just kind of pinpoint this spot that I'm showing you right here if you're off a little bit it might not play the music but you're looking for this sound and that means that there is a legendary fish in the area. In this case, it's the legendary walleye. Um, also, when that fish bites, it's going to have the sound of almost like a monster fish, kind of like this one, except for there's additional drums in the background. This one's just a monster. I'm just going to bring him in really quick for funsies. But if you didn't want to bring this fish in, you just want to let him go, you can always just press B, the back button. And then that would cancel out this cast and you got to keep your lure and you don't snap your line off in case you didn't know that already and you you have this game and you're always losing lures just press b if you feel like you're going to lose your line or snap off or you don't want to waste your time you can cancel out and start over all right so now i'm going to cast back in and this time i'm probably gonna yep i think that was him just swimming by right there and you'll hear the sound of the bite and that's how you know. Set the hook. So that uh, he is the he is the legendary. This is the legendary one. Now, when you're reeling this one in, you can't reel it in like the you would normally. So, in my opinion, I usually just hold down the right trigger button to reel in the fish. But this one's gonna be a little bit heavier, and you might not want to do that. He's only 26 pounds, so you can get away with just holding it down. If you look at the bottom left. That's my guy. If the rod is curved, you know that I'm holding the right trigger button. And uh, basically, I'm trying to just get him in the center. When he's in the green, you'll notice that the cursor on the bottom starts moving closer towards my boat. And that means I'm reeling him in, I'm gonna catch him. Um, also doing the uh, reel boost, which is clicking in on the left stick when it prompts you to. That's how you're gonna get him in the boat as fast as possible. Now the bigger fish, the bigger legendary fish, Oh my gosh, are they a pain in the butt. And I'll show you uh, after this one. I'm gonna show you where you can get the uh, legendary catfish after I catch him, which is, guys, it took me 26 minutes to you catch the legendary Carl, catfish. The legendary so, walleye. Let me show you where that is. So you guys do that one, it's easy. But the catfish, here we go. 
Alright guys, so now we're at Lake Guntersville, so I've already caught this one, so when I cast in on this location, it's not going to play the music. But, you can still catch monsters in this spot, like monster-sized fish, and those of you who haven't played the game, the monster-sized fish are the biggest-sized fish, if that makes sense. Um, I'm just kind of showing the exact location, so if you count the number of columns on that bridge right there, I think it's something around like the fourth one. Um, if you go all the way out with your, your casting distance, it won't let you go any further than this. And slide all the way to the right, it won't make you... You can't go any further to the right. And then just bring it all the way back to you, and then right about there in front of your boat uh, is where that fish will spawn. And you can kind of pivot to the left and right if you want to. If you notice, like on the graph there at the bottom, there's a, about four fish that showed up uh, grouped together. That's one of the monster fish, and right now you can see that the area isn't quite right. It's not picking it up on the graph until I get in the, the right spot, and then you can see they start stacking. Not a bad cast. So this is the spot. All right, guys, so this is part of my catch. I did not record the whole thing, and as you can see, the line is about to snap at any second. That reeling boost. So you have to be comfortable with the prospect of losing your lure or losing some of your line uh, in order to catch these fish because the entire time you are going to be on the cusp of snapping off and that's the only way you're ever going to get this fish to come in. If you think that you're going to be able to just reel him in gently, it's not going to happen. Um, and this is such, I cannot under overstate this enough this is such a pain it will frustrate you to all ends there's some videos on youtube that i've seen people catching legendary fish on this game and they make it look so easy and i'm telling you it's not easy i tried catching the legendary uh tarpon and lake okeechobee on this game i have not caught it i tried for 55 minutes straight so if you think that this video is annoying and this is taking so long try doing this for 55 minutes. So the key here is you're trying to keep that fish in the center of your screen, going left to right with the joystick, and then balancing it to the point where that little LS pops up. And when that happens, you gotta be quick and jab that button in, otherwise it will disappear. And then try to hold the right trigger as much as, much as you can without snapping your line. Let go if you feel like the vibrations are getting too intense because you will snap your line, but if you don't use that right trigger at all, there's no way that you'll ever bring this fish in. So you just gotta risk it. Go big or go home, they say. And unfortunately, uh, with the, the tarpon and uh, the lake trout, the legendary tarpon and the legendary lake trout, on both of those, I have, I've, I've gone home. I've snapped off my lures so many times trying to bring those fish in. It is annoying this one took a while like i said it took about 26 minutes to get this fish in but it was doable so if you're achievement hunting and you're in this game i would recommend doing the walleye this catfish and the legendary largemouth bass which is on lake powell there's actually this really cool uh back tunnel in order to get to the legendary um uh, largemouth bass and you have to like go underneath this tunnel to this back little pond area. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I might do another video. If you want me to do another video on that one, leave a comment in, down below um, and let me know. Otherwise, this is the location and you can see it's super annoying. You caught Mud Kitty. But well worth it. Catfish. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Guys, I really hope you check out my other new channel, Last Cast. Um, we're even doing the giveaways, subscribe to this one, subscribe to that other channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Maybe I can do some more video game stuff. Guys, put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later.